Every student remembers learning the Pythagorean theorem. The most subtle reference to the subject is often followed by someone shouting out, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, almost as if they were experiencing a spasm. But the theorem is not meant just for mindless memorization. It has a greater application outside the world of triangles and in the everyday world we live in. A deeper understanding of the theorem and the relationship it describes can open any learner's eyes to the wide range of possibilities for applying the Pythagorean theorem to our everyday lives. The Pythagorean theorem is named after Pythagoras, a Greek mathematician. While this would lead many to believe that it was Pythagoras who discovered and developed the theorem, there is evidence of mathematicians using the theorem before the time of Pythagoras. Babylonian mathematicians used their understanding of the theorem to approximate the value of the square root of 2 centuries before Pythagoras was born. The same relationship was used about 250 years prior to Pythagoras in the design of ancient Indian altars used in sacred rituals. The real reason for the theorem's historical association with Pythagoras comes from his work on proving the theorem. While many ancient mathematicians were able to produce geometric representations of the relationship, Pythagoras is credited as the first mathematician to produce an actual proof. While the Pythagorean theorem is most commonly known as the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared, the official theorem includes more information. In any right triangle with legs of length a and b and hypotenuse of length c, the sum of the squares of the legs, or a squared plus b squared, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, or c squared. Thus, from the theorem, we obtain the formula which many students so easily commit to memory. Pythagoras' proof of this theorem uses the area of squares, each representing a side of a right triangle, to satisfy the relationship between the three sides. Many other geometrical proofs of the theorem exist and use arrangements of squares and right triangles which represent the relationship stated by the theorem. Teachers use everyday examples to introduce this topic to their students. Baseball diamonds, tall buildings, and ladders are among some of the more common examples used within the classroom. These scenarios are used to help illustrate how the Pythagorean theorem helps us calculate distances or lengths of objects using right triangles. However, this theorem is applied in areas and even in careers that most students are never introduced to in the classroom. One common instance of applying the Pythagorean theorem is in the measuring of television screens. Due to how common the TV is in our lives today, this application is so obvious it is often overlooked. The measurement of a television gives the length of the diagonal of the set. This diagonal is the hypotenuse of a right triangle whose legs are made up of the border of the television. Careers not commonly associated with math apply the Pythagorean theorem in their everyday work. For example, architects use a wide range of mathematics in their work of designing buildings. People within this career use the Pythagorean theorem to create the dimensions and shapes of objects within their designs. Perhaps one of the most interesting applications of the Pythagorean theorem is seen through the work of forensic analysts. When analyzing blood spatter at a crime scene, analysts use right angles and right triangles to determine where the victim was located at the time of their injury. The same relationship can also be used to trace the trajectory of a bullet and approximate where the weapon was fired from. Countless other applications of the Pythagorean theorem exist in our everyday world. Some are obvious, as with the television set, while others are not as noticeable, but extremely useful in solving problems that extend far beyond the four walls of a classroom. From these applications, it is easy to see that the Pythagorean theorem can be applied many different ways and in hundreds of different areas. Clearly, mathematics serves a greater purpose than providing exercises in the classroom and plays an important role in our everyday lives.